All right, guys, uh, we're here to bring you another assembly video. We're going to show you how to uh, install your front and rear fenders for your Rad Mission um, bike. We've also got the rear rack, too. This is the uh, stock. These are the stock accessories that I ordered with the bike. I've already had a lot of fun with this bike to date, um, and I've kind of been putting this off. But uh, here we go. We're going to show you step by step and uh, get, get excited, guys. Here we go. Okay, so first we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, remove the battery and we're gonna discharge uh, all the remaining power from the bike. It's uh, first step in the instructions, so we're gonna follow the instructions. Safety, safety first, always. All right, so I'm gonna turn the the key all the way to the left here, and then it should just pop out. There we go. Nice and smooth. Look at that. When you're removing the rear tire, you're going to have to remove the chain, right? There's obviously no way to take the tire off without taking the chain off. So um, the easiest way to do that is um, pushing the torque tensioner um, forward, right? And then you get all this slack and, uh, in the chain. That, then it's easy to just kind of, you know, wrap that over the sprocket over here. So. Um, the other option is to just remove the uh, chain tensioner, which I, I did originally, but it's kind of a pain to get back on. And, um, you know, if you're, if you're not super savvy, um, you know, it's easy to, <laughs> um, to misplace that or to not, not give it the, the right tension, um, you know, for optimal performance of the bike. So, you know, just be aware, you know, you can avoid... Uh, taking the chain tensioner off by just, you know, pushing it in and building more slack on the chain. All right, so I'm tightening the bolts and the directions say to tighten to seven Newton meters, but you know, I have a torque wrench and it, it's not gonna fit. Like it, this is like not enough clearance for that torque wrench. I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. Actually, it's over here. So, like, there's no way, you see, like, I'm not going to fit this into that small space. So, you know, best laid plans. Um, I think it'd be ideal to have it torqued to that precise measurement, but, you know, it's a rack. It's not, like, an essential component of your bike. So, I think we're just going to, you know, let it ride and <laughs> not worry about it too much. Okay, so we have the uh, rear wheel um, back in the dropouts here in place. Um, you know, you got to make sure that the the little washer here um, for the axle is on the inside. Um, and then, you know, be careful here uh, that you have this oriented correctly. Um, this is the plate for the torque arm right here. So make sure that that's 
lined up correctly to the whole the screw hole before you uh, put everything in place. So we're going to talk about the front fender here. Um, you can tell it's the front fender because it has this little mounting bracket right here that goes to the crown of the fork um, and it fixes to, to the back here. So, you know, you're going to pass it. You can tell it's the front fender. The, the rear fender doesn't have uh, a mounting bracket like that. Um, so you're going to pass this through from behind, right? And then you have the mounting bolt, which passes through the front of this connection point. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use um, the supplied washer and the nut um, to tighten this right here. So we're just gonna put that nut in there, tighten it, and then once we get this good and tight using our, uh, our wrenches, then what you'll do is you'll attach the mounting arms, right, using the, the bolts they provided um, here. So we'll show you that as well. The last step I wanted to go over is just, you know, reconnecting um, all of the cables, the power cables um, that um, that power the rear hub motor here. Um, there's the one I just showed you, and then there's another one here that connects um, from the controller to the rear brake light. Um, so this goes right here, and then once you have all these things connected, you're gonna use um, these zip ties that they provide, right? To make sure that there's no slack in the cable. I've, you don't want a lot of slack because that's gonna get caught on something as you're, um, you know, biking by something. So I had to wrap it around a couple times. I think this cord they provide is maybe a little too long. Um, so I had to run, you see I ran it back and kind of zigzagged it and then use multiple zip ties here. All right, I um, just wanted to point out a couple little things. Um, some of the tools that I used to assemble the bike, um, I ended up getting two torque wrenches um, because this one is for finer measurements, smaller measurements, um, you know, like under 10 Newton meters. This is for, you know, bigger, tougher jobs, um, you know, bigger nuts. <laughs> bolts and such um probably you know things you, this would be more used for auto repair um this one costs about 70 bucks it's made by a company called husky i got it at uh, home depot it was you know super convenient um and you know they had in-store pickup so um and it looked like it had pretty good reviews so this is what i used to torque up the um the axle nuts here because you're supposed to torque those to 40 newton meters and um you know they say that you know you want to have those tightened to pretty precise measurements because you know you don't want to over tighten you don't want to under tighten under tightening is you know potentially uh disastrous right if um things get loose um but you know if you're gonna be doing a lot of the bike maintenance, I would definitely recommend getting something like this. The investment is pretty small um, and you're gonna use it probably, you know, for, for the rest of your life, um, if you're lucky. Um, the smaller one here, this one is made by a company called Tack Life. Um, I got that on Amazon. It was only 35 bucks, so very affordable. That's what I used to tighten the mounting arms here um the rating is for six newton meters and then um the rack as well so you know the points where the rack um attaches you can see right there to the frame um you're supposed to tighten this to seven newton meters so that's why i needed the 
you know, the smaller torque wrench for, for like the smaller measurements. All right, and now we have the finished product here. We've got our Rad Mission 1 uh, front fender and rear fender completely installed. We've got the rear rack on there good and tight. Um, I think this is a great looking bike. Franny agrees. She's in love with this bike. Um, I think the, the black just kind of enhances the look of the bike and the, and the, you know, the black on the rack as well. Gives it a, a tougher look, which, um, you know, kind of, you know, strikes a contrast with the, the red and, and that kind of like, uh, Ferrari, like red color that this comes in. So I think this is a super cool looking bike. Um, I would probably not ride this bike without the racks and the fenders, just, you know, my personal opinion. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment, visit us at top5ebikes.com or some of our social media accounts. Thank you.